In the mornings when I'm getting my daughter ready for school, I can't let her hold on to my arms for balance when she's stepping into her pants. I have to have her stand next to a bed or next to a chair to hold on because I can't stand the light touching on my arms. I don't like to hold her hand. Again, back to the light touching. If she were to hold my hand a certain way, I don't like it. I walk her to and from school every day and of course I hold her hand, but it has to be a certain way because of the way it feels. Sometimes if we're sitting on the couch watching TV and she'll try to cuddle up to me, I have to make her move away because I feel crowded. I'm scared she's gonna lay her hand on me. I try to avoid the situation. I fight it in my head like, don't say anything, don't stop her, just let her do it. I've told her, you know mommy doesn't like that. Don't do that, you know I don't like that. I don't worry that she thinks I don't love her because I know I show her that and I tell her all the time, but I worry that she feels like I don't ever want her around me. I just feel like a terrible mother sometimes. I hate being this way. It makes me feel crazy. <sighs> do you think, um, do you think she understands? I think she understands somewhat. Like, she knows that I have a problem and I always make sure to tell her, you know, you're not doing anything wrong. It's not you. It's just I have a problem that I need help with. Mm -hmm. She just knows. She knows all the little things that I don't like, and she, she, you know, tries not to do it. What's your concern about your third child? Um, all of my issues tend to be worse the more stressed I am. So one of my issues is that, you know, with a new baby in the house and, you know, me being under a lot of stress and lack of sleep, that it's going to, I'm not going to be able to handle it, you know, even worse than I am now, you know. Mm -hmm. It's all, that I'm just going to explode. Do you know what misophonia is? Hatred of sound. Well, there's really more to it than that. It's also known as selective sound sensitivity and it's an abnormally strong negative reaction of the autonomic nervous system and the limbic system to specific sounds, usually soft sounds, and they're typically breathing sounds, things like that. But it's generally more acute if it's with someone to whom you have an emotional attachment. That describes me exactly to a T. There's a neurological component here. Right. To an extent, this becomes involuntary. Uh, there's also a psychological component to it that's pretty narcissistic. It's like you can make the noises and that's okay, mm -hmm. but anybody else makes the noises, that's not okay. And if it's somebody that you have an emotional attachment to, it's really not okay. Mm -hmm.